lives a kind and jolly old gentleman, Santa Claus, also known as St. Nicholas, the best friend of boys and girls everywhere. But let's move in for a closer look. Come along. boys and girls of different races and creeds. They have come from many lands to help Santa bring joy and happiness to all of the Earth's children. These little helpers are from Africa. Here are Santa's helpers from Spain. Thank you. 
talented children from the Orient. Russia has a delegation. The group from France. Headed by Yvette and Pierre. German boys and girls help Santa too. Here's a happy song from Italy. The islands of the Caribbean. The South American group includes Brazil and Argentina. of Central America. Children from the USA. Neighborly group of helpers from Mexico. <laughs> Hello there. Santa, do you like this devil? Huh? Devil? Now, let's see. Don't think anybody ordered this. Well, now, how does it work? What is the sense of it? Like this, Santa. You must light it. Let's have it.
of the King of Hades command you to stop and disappear. Be gone, all of you! Except Pitch. You, Pitch, chief of all my demons, must listen closely. The time is almost here when you must abandon the brimstone pits and journey up to Earth. But this time you must not fail as you've done in the past. You must not be defeated by that bearded old ghost, Santa Claus. If you do not succeed in making all the children of the earth do evil, you shall be punished. And instead of bread hot cold, you will eat chocolate ice cream. No, no, Lucifer, king of all the evil spirits. Not that. By the horns of everything satanic, I beg you. To live, I must have heat. Frozen meals are bad for me, especially chocolate. It's very bad for my digestion, which is so delicate. Yes, I promise, O oh priceless Prince of Hades, that by my many wiles I will finish off Santa forever and see that the children commit terrible deeds and make Santa Claus angry. Go up then and show the world who is its real master. So be it, Lucifer. Demons of Hades, transport me to Earth. And so the devil rose to earth. You heard what he said to Lucifer, but will he be able to keep his promise? <laughs> On Earth, the children can hardly wait for Christmas Day. They gaze longingly at the toys they hope Santa will bring them. Here is a good little boy whose daddy is quite rich. <laughs> This mother, on the other hand, is very poor. And this is her daughter, Lupita, whose fondest dream is to own a doll, any doll. and shove like that. But the devil likes rude little boys and it doesn't take him long to find them. They're just right for his evil plan. <laughs> well, one thing is certain. The devil has turned them against Santa Claus. <laughs> Suddenly, he's with them again. Out of nowhere, he produces three rocks, and his evil plan goes into action. This is bad. <laughs> oh! Ah! Ah! Darn that devil! Oh, I'm sorry, but that old devil is always annoying me with his mischief. If I could only go down there now, I'd put him in his place. <laughs> but everyone knows I can only go down to Earth on Christmas Eve and not before. In the meantime, that old double piece got us a blizzard. Colowan y Guareco, tau chitib no. A short while ago, I saw the devil whispering to four children, and one was a poor little girl. Do you know who they are? I've got their names. The bad boys are. No, 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 no. The naughty boys are not important. They will get punished in due course. The ones I must reward are the other children, like the good little girl. I've got their names right here. The girl is called. Uh, better look through the telescope, Pedro. We'll find out what they're doing. This is Santa's magic observatory. What wonderful instruments. The ear scope, the teletalker that knows everything, the cosmic telescope, the master eye. Nothing that happens on Earth is unknown to Santa Claus. By thy magic powers, look for the child we're seeking, whether she's in a cave or behind a million mountains. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
And she's still dreaming about that doll she wants for Christmas. isn't thinking of stealing that doll, is she? No, no, Lupita. You shouldn't steal. Put it back. Lupita! Lupita, come here. So you take it, Lupita. They have more and they won't miss it. What does one little doll matter, don't you see? You haven't got any toys. Keep it. Hmm? Don't listen to him, Lupita. It's bad to steal, and you'll be sorry. That's right. Put it back. Good girl. <laughs> not true, Lupita. If you're good, somehow you'll be rewarded. Hooray for her! Hooray for her! All my friends can ignore the devil. All they need to win is to be good in spirit. And the other children? Come, Pedro, find them. By thy magic powers, look for the child we're seeking, whether he is in a cave or behind a million mountains. Okay. Soundly. His dream will appear on the dream scope. Connect the antenna for the dream scope.
let's watch the little rich boy's dream. How strange. And what large gift boxes. Would these be toys? Why, they contain what a child loves best. His parents. A dream is a wish that the heart makes. That little child is not wealthy. He gets everything he wishes just by asking his parents. The only thing this child wants is the love of his parents. Don't they love him? Maybe they do, and maybe they don't. But soon we may find out the truth. And Lupita, what do you think she might wish? If she's already sleeping, we might be able to see her dream. I wonder if our child is dreaming. I recall when I was a little girl, I often would dream of great riches, that I had all the things I wished for and not a care in the world. But at times I also dream with the devil. Confounded devil, why can't he leave Lupita alone? Body. He'll make Lupita want to steal again. He'll be part of her dream. How awful. Better look at her dream now.
Don't you see, Lundwita? No, I'll be yours. No, you know that stealing is bad, and I want to be good. But you must learn to steal. No, you know stealing is bad, and I want to be good. We dogs don't like good little girls. No, to steal is evil, and I don't want to be evil. You must be evil if you want a dog. No, you know stealing is evil, and I don't want to be evil. Steal, fight, steal life, and we will all be yours. No, I don't want to be evil. And telling lies is evil. You want to be good, eh? You want to be bad. No, you know telling is bad. And I want to be good. Well, then you'll never have a dog. <laughs> Mama! Mama! Poor little child. Believe me, that old pitch is going to pay for this. The very minute I get to Earth, he will pay for what he is doing. And the three little boys, the ones who broke the window, maybe they have done more mischief. Santa Claus, salgas que que machoca? Yes, look for them. Mai no majo no chicara de. Ay no nakani, haiti temo, se no cabeno, shironi temo. Go tu ga, sagas te iru, kodomon suketo cure. The three boys are beneath a large bed, but they are speaking in a low voice. Let's tune in the ear scope. Now we will learn exactly what they are planning. Centuries older than I am. Those youngsters have got their nerve. Next to the devil, I'm just a child. It's just that I haven't been well lately. <laughs> that really makes me. Let's see who those boys are. We'll see what they're up to. Oh ho! There you are, you little rascal. Well, you might as well know I can see and hear everything you say. I know when you've been bad or good. Did you hear that? I'll say. Let's get out of here. My dear Santa Claus, the only thing that I wish for is that my parents can stay with me the night before Christmas. I don't like to be alone. But the most important thing is that you bring me a little brother who is just about my age because I get awfully bored. Maybe you could get me a papa. That would be super, I guess, even a mama. A train with lots of tracks. And a bicycle, too. A flies horse. An airplane that will fly. And I want a ball. Big and red. Milk their shoes. 
for prayer on Sunday. And as my two little brothers have behaved very well, you must see that they get everything. Santa Claus, 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 more Santa Claus, more Santa Claus. Off they go. Santa Claus, Santa Claus, Santa Claus. <laughs> Wonderful, marvelous, stupendous. Just look at all those letters. <laughs> they don't forget old Papa Noel, Saint Nicholas, Santa Claus. <laughs> My dear Santa Claus, this year I have behaved very well. I have been obedient and have studied very much. For that reason, please try to bring me these toys. A toy automobile, a submarine, a football, a bat, roller skates, a scooter, a cannon, a rocket, a bicycle, an atomic laboratory, a machine gun. Ooh. Ooh, golly. And many thanks. <laughs> so be it. And as my two little brothers have behaved very well, hmm, you must see to it that they get everything. <laughs> A falsehood. <laughs> see, there's no fooling Santa Claus. into the liar's box. Dear Santa Claus, please bring me a little brother. <laughs> uh, here's one for you, Mr. Stork. <laughs> Minded, perhaps, but Santa's most devoted helper. Oh, Merlin! Merlin, where are you? Mr. Merlin! Mr. Merlin! What, 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 what's the matter? Oh, Santa Claus, what a start you <laughs> gave me! <laughs> This new rainbow is quite unusual. <laughs> I suppose you've changed the colors again. This one will surpass the others. When the rays of the sun enter the rainfall, poof, a variety of wonderful colors will fill the entire heavens. <laughs> well, Mr. Merlin, tell me if the sleeping powders are mixed. The dreaming powders that fill everyone with joy and goodwill and the flowers that disappear. Uh, what's the date, eh? 
On the Earth, it's the eve of the 25th of December. Oh, so it is. In three minutes, they'll be ready. I shall reveal to you the secret of the magic stardust concocted by Merlin, oh. which is unsurpassed for sound sleeping. Please, let me go by. <laughs> <laughs> To begin with, you need an urn, which is an alloy of copper, nickel, uranium, plutonium, and platinum. Misery. Hmm. <laughs> Oops. Uh. Oh, what a dummy I am. I forgot the urn. And without the urn, I can't mix the ingredients, can I? No, you can't. <laughs> Eight scoops of rose-colored pollen from the marvelous moonflower. Nine scoops of pollen from the lazy yarner. And the red pollen from the Morpheus plant. One, two, three, four scoops. Shh. The last ingredient is the most important thing. Oh, gosh. What a memory. I keep forgetting the urn. <laughs> Some powder from the wings of the butterfly Papillosacrata that dwells among the nebulous mists and vapors of eventide, and which only I have been able to keep in captivity by furnishing with my magic and that great window there, the lights of the heavens. Yeah. Yes. All set. Hey, this time I didn't forget the urn. <laughs> Now, mm. you freeze it with the light blue flame of frozen fire, and next thing, it's ready. So as you have seen, it's very simple, right? <laughs> Let's see now. Open up your pack. <laughs> I'll help. Mm -hmm. And the dreaming powders that fill everyone with joy and goodwill? You know about them. The only thing you have to do, Santa, is to remember that you must sift them. Yeah, the same as last Christmas. Don't you uh, remember? Yes. I'm afraid I have forgotten. As a man continues to get older, he begins to forget everything. Every year, my memory fails me more, and it seems I'm good for nothing. Huh. And the flower to disappear? What flower? To disappear. You've disappeared? You're already in bad shape. The flower to disappear. Oh, well. Here you have it. Smell it, and you disappear. <laughs> well, well what, what do I have to do to make myself visible again? Oh, what happened to your memory? Can't you remember anything? The same as last Christmas. Why, of course. <laughs> ah, much obliged to you, Mr. Merlin. Huh. I'll be back again to see you next year. Next, Santa calls on the master blacksmith and keymaker of the palace. Dear Keymaker, 
The golden key that opens all doors is ready, Santa. It is at your disposal. I think you'll agree it's a real work of art. It has no equal. Thank you, my dear keymaker. Only you could make a key such as this, which would turn the lock of every door on earth. Please try it on the locks of a thousand magic portals. <laughs> <laughs> and as Santa tries out the magic key of gold, it opens door after door. This is Santa's train. <laughs> What's this? Santa dancing? No, indeed. Santa must watch his waistline and reduce his tummy if he is to get down all the chimneys. into the chimneys, all right. Trans Heavenly Airways Flight SC-707, Super Reindeer Special, Red Carpet Flight to Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, via the Milky Way, now morning. Let's have a look at Santa's famous sleigh and his reindeer. Santa's helpers from all nations sing happily as they come to make sure that everything works properly and that the sleigh and reindeer will shine brightly in the Christmas sky. to use modern spaceships for our interplanetary flights. But to convert my white reindeer into Sputniks? No, I should say not. And besides, just to go to Earth, they suit me well enough. Well, I guess we're all glad about that. Maybe a Sputnik would be faster. But I can't quite imagine Santa Claus without his reindeer and his sleigh, can you? Here's a list of all the gifts, names, and addresses. Well, just put it over there. Well, thank heaven I still have a very good memory, hey? And I know every single child on Earth. <laughs> well, just to make sure, why don't you take it with you? I've really got to hurry. It's almost time for the crystal clock on the wall to strike ten. Don't forget that you've got to return to the castle ahead of the sunrise because the sun will turn the reindeer into dust. Oh, oh, oh no, sorry, no. I'll be here all right. In that case, I couldn't get back to the castle. And on what they use for food, I'd perish. Because here our main food is pastries and ice cream made of soft clouds. And on the earth, there's no such thing. What food do they eat on Earth, Santa Claus? Oh, everything in sight. They eat most of the animals, the plants, the flowers, the roots, birds, even smoke <gasps> and alcohol. 
But enough of this talking. We're wasting time and I must be off. <laughs> <laughs> My children, get on with your packing. It's the night for Santa Claus to fill all the stockings. Merry, merry greetings I take to one and all. So hurry if you want to enjoy the Yuletide fun. And now, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> to disappear, the golden key that opens all doors, the sleigh, and now I better make sure my reindeer are running. Yes, Santa's sleigh is really a huge toy sleigh, and he has to wind it like any other toy to make it go. into the moon. And here's the planet Earth. I wonder where Santa will go first. Europe? Africa? America? Think of all the nice things you'll get from Santa Claus. Yes, Mama. That's a good boy. See you in the morning. If you get bored, you can go down and practice your piano lesson. See you later, my darling.
I knew it. The devil is nearby, and these three certainly are up to no good. Okay, listen now. As soon as Santa Claus lands on the roof here, all three of us will jump on him. We'll tie him up, and we'll stick him in a sack, and then we'll go home with all of Santa's toys. But what about Santa? We can make him our slave, and all his candies and toys will belong to us. So whenever we want something... Oh, boy, this is going to be fun. Better not talk now. He can hear us and get away. All right, children, to bed. Santa Claus will be here any minute now. Mama, and who is Santa Claus? He's the man in the store. The one with the red suit and the white beard that was laughing very much. And does uh, Santa know about me? Mm hmm Is he real like my daddy? <laughs> no, not really. That one was the dummy. The real Santa lives in a castle and comes here once a year. What does he come for? They say he gives toys to children who are obedient. I don't think he likes me. He has never brought me any dolly. It's... Not that. Maybe you forgot to ask him for dollies. And if I ask him for one now? Go ahead. Perhaps he'll hear you. We can say a prayer, dear. Mama, please don't cry. It's just that it's Christmas. And Christmas always makes me feel sad. It brings back memories. Mommy, what is Christmas good for? Well, to remind us that Christ was born many years ago. And he was even poorer than we are. He was born in a bed of straw. You know what, Mama? I already asked Santa Claus for two pretty dollies. If he brings the two, I'll give one to little Jesus. Yes, my darling. Maybe we pray with all of our might. Hmm? While Santa steers his sleigh towards Earth, Old Devil Pitch awaits his arrival. Here comes Santa now. First stop, Mexico City. back in Hades tending the furnaces. <laughs> He's heard Santa. <laughs> I say, near he is. I'm glad that I'm prepared to upset his old Merry Christmas. <laughs> we will see who wins out. This is one night that no one can take from me. <laughs> What's he going to do? Oh ho! He's going to push the chimney out of place so that poor old Santa won't be able to enter this house. Thank you. 
Let's hope Santa realizes what's happened. <laughs> well, what's happened here? I can smell sulfur. Well, that must explain this. That old devil pitch must be around here. <laughs> Santa's determined to get in. He'll find a way. He's not one to give up. Well, there's more than one way to beat the devil. Santa will jump down using his magic parasol. Old Pitch hadn't counted on this. He's almost green with anger. Santa's in the living room. Look out, Santa, they'll see you. Why, of course, Santa can handle this. All he has to do is use the magic dreaming powders prepared by Mr. Merlin. And it isn't long before our two little stay of lates are sleeping soundly in their bed. chimney back in place. doesn't give up either. And he seems to be quite happy about his next plot against Santa. coming down this chimney now. Uh oh, he's all right, but that was close. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pitch is foiled again. But suddenly he thinks of something else to do. it. He'll huff and puff until his burning breath turns the doorknob and keyhole red hot. So that the magic key won't work and Santa will burn his hands. First he'll see if it's hot enough. <sighs> what do you think of that? But Santa sees what Pitch is up to, and he isn't afraid. 
Pitch looks out the window to watch Santa burn his hands. Doesn't seem to know he's right behind him. Oh ho, a cannon. Now it's Santa's turn to get even with Pitch. toys a little boy could wish for, and yet he is sad and lonely, lonely for his parents. In spite of all he has, he lacks the most important thing in life, the company of his mother and father. I'll do something for you that I only do for children who are very good. I would let you see me as I am. And therefore, I will use the powders that will make you dream that you're awake. And now, awaken while you're dreaming. Santa 
Santa Claus. You love me, don't you? Say you love me, Santa. <laughs> of course I love you, Sonny. Just as much as your parents. Because no one loves a child as much as his parents. Only at times the parents don't understand their children, and the children don't understand their parents. And are you really sure that they love me when I'm left all alone? Yes, of course they love you. And you must believe they love you. And now, go back to sleep again. It was all a sweet dream. When you awaken, I wish you much happiness. I've seen the Martins. They're both looking pretty well, though, aren't they? That's a strange cocktail, isn't it? It's the cocktail of remembrance, which only I can prepare. Whoever drinks it will think of that which is most dear, and which at times, for some unknown reason, we seem to forget. That's a beautiful thought. Perhaps we need a reminder. Very possibly we've forgotten someone we love. Love can be expressed in many ways, but the truest love is that which we give without expecting anything in return. The greatest reward for those who love sincerely is love itself. So drink my cocktail and you will become aware of that love which is closest to your hearts. And those without love? They couldn't drink this cocktail as it would burn their throats. Well, since we are very much in love, May it always be that way. Now that's strange. Where'd he disappear to? I don't think he was just a waiter. He didn't seem to be a stranger. That kind look, the white beard. I knew that face when I was a child. Couldn't be. If his beard was white when you were a small girl, he'd be dead and buried by now. Now that's strange. I suddenly have an urge to see our little boy. Let's go home. Poor Billy's always alone. I feel that he's needing us too. He'll be so glad. Come on. done too well by himself against Santa, so he's back to seek the help of these boys who so far are the only ones willing to listen to his evil plans. They may think it's smart to help him now, but they'll be sorry, for his advice can only get them into trouble. One of us better get over there behind the water tank and take the rope along. When we spot Santa Claus, Zowie will pull the rope and knock him down. Got it, that's for me. Oh, boy! I have 
stick your head down. Here comes Santa. to steal Santa's sleigh. That's a relief. The reindeer won't obey him. Tough luck, Pitch. Uh-oh. A pair of scissors. Look out, Santa. must be around somewhere. Oh, my! Mr. Merlin's magic greening powders. Now Santa won't be able to put anyone to sleep. On my heavenly reindeer, for there's much to be done. <coughs> and there goes a flower to disappear. And now Santa won't be able to make himself invisible. What are you going to do now, Santa? the flower to disappear doesn't fall into bad hands.
Meanwhile, Santa goes on his way not knowing that his dreaming powers and flower to disappear are gone. <laughs> afraid of that dog. If he goes after him, he still thinks he can disappear. Go get him, Daddy. See that old goat. Bite him. Finish him off. How can old Pitch be so mean, sicking a vicious dog on Santa like that? <laughs> the powders. The flower to disappear. No powders and no flower? What do I do now? Run, Santa! Climb the tree! It's your only chance! <laughs> get out! Go away! Scott! Shoo, get out! Uh, uh, uh. That certainly was a very funny sight. Old Whitebeard in his sack, running as if the devil himself were going to take him below. You'll pay for your mischief. You just wait and see. Hmm, but first you'll have to come down from that tree. And I can have a lot of fun before you can get rid of Daddy. Because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wake up everybody. Ah, nobody can hear your voice. Oh, they hear it in the form of their own private imagination or ideas. Let them see how foolish you appear. <laughs> There's a prowler out there. He's come to kill your wife and your children. He's really quite vicious. He's hiding up in your tree. Defend yourself. He's going to murder you. He's going to murder you. Mr. Molly! Apparently, no one is in Santa's magic observatory. Try to awaken. There's a man outside. Marie? Marie, get up. I think that we're in danger. What? Yes. Oh, yes, the assassin is out and back. Assassin? I'm not going. Hurry, get out of bed. Go after him. Sure, but uh, where's the pistol? Where you keep it. In the drawer? In the drawer. Oh, in the drawer. In this drawer. Why, in this one? Oh, oh in this one. Here it is. Go after him. Come on, don't be funny. Me? Yes. But I, but I... <coughs> when it's cold, I can't be expected to go out. I might catch pneumonia. Ah, <coughs> uh, that's me right for not listening to Mother. Come on. Snap it up. Pneumonia or no pneumonia, you go. But Marie, understand, where did you going to get your get father? Get my father? Wait, I must put on my robe. Here Marie, it is. Marie, stop fooling around. Don't waste time. is a fine alarm fire. Better let me have that address, please, won't you? Don't expect anything from Santa Claus. He doesn't bring toys to poor children. Didn't I tell you to keep that doll? Silly. So now you won't have anything. You are poor. Mama, Mama. What is it, dear? Don't the poor people get anything from Santa Claus? Who told you that? Uh, no, my darling. 
Santa Claus is good to all of the children who are obedient. It's no matter if they're poor or wealthy. To bed now, my darling, and sleep well. Look, Mama, it's almost day, and Santa Claus hasn't come. Sleep now, darling. Sleep now, and you will see. Maybe when you wake up, you'll find it, darling. But go to sleep now and have pleasant thoughts. My poor little Lupita. Who can tell if Santa Claus will come to our house this year? Merlin! 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 Keeman! Help me! That did it. The whole family's awake now. Hurry up, or you're going to get away, Bill. Hurry, hurry, you go out first. No, please, ladies, first. No, this is no time for manners. Well, I'm Where's not going to be the first to go. Let's all go. go back to bed. Hey, everyone, I want to play cops and robbers. Oh, oh fine, oh, fine. Oh, that's all right. Oh, all right. Right, right. right then. Merlin, Mr. Merlin. Hey, what's that? Can you run? Follow me. Can I run and follow you? Better tell me what's the matter, and I'll decide whether I should run and whether I should follow you, eh? Santa Claus is in danger. He's calling you urgently on the teleprompter. Oh, well, in that case, we'd better hurry. Let's fly now. One for the money, two for the show. Away we go. Hurry, Mr. Merlin. This is no time to play horsey. Santa's in danger. We let her analyze the situation. You're the bravest one here. You can take care of a million men. <laughs> let them all see now that the only brave one here is you. All the men are cowards. You are a woman. Put them to shame now. Hmm? Are you sure the whistle perks? What? I mean, the pistol works? Why, of course it works. Ah, if I were only your age? Mm. If I were your age, it wouldn't matter if I lived or not. You're both brave as bulls, but neither of you will go out there. All right, you heard what she said. You go first. No, we'll both go. We'll both go and see what happens. The Red Cross, the fire department, the police. What a jam poor Santa's in. Everyone will see him. You hear those sirens? They're for you. The show is about to begin, and you'll never get back before sunrise. <laughs> Your reindeer will turn into powder. You will starve to death. And I will rule the earth. <laughs> Santa Claus! Santa Claus! It's me! Merlin! 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 Where are you? Here, in the observatory. Why, what is the matter? In just a few minutes, it's going to be day. Return now. They've got me in a tree, Merlin! I dropped the flower to disappear. And also the powders for dreaming. And this beast just won't let me come down. All this confusion has been prepared by Mr. Pitch. Well, now. Hurry, Mr. Merlin. Hurry. Run. Uh, where can we find Santa Claus? He's already been to Asia, Europe, and Australia. He must be on the American continent. <laughs> I think I see him. He's in Mexico. Oh, golly, but he's in a terrible fix. And there's no time to go to his rescue. And the sun is about to rise. 
bad dog. Mad dog. Against good is bad. Against black is white. Against a bad itch, scratch it. Against thirst, water. Against mad dog. Against mad dog. Against mad dog. A cat. A cat, a cat, a cat. A cat, Santa Claus. A cat. Please be quick, Merlin. Now hear this. My time is almost over. This time it's serious. Against Mad Dog, a cat. Use one of the toy cats that you wind up. And the dog will grab the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go now. All together now. But don't push me. Don't push me. Just a minute. You make me nervous. Oh, come on. Hurry up. I can handle this, but don't leave me alone, huh? All right. We're with you. Come on. Where's the body? How many are injured? They'll surely find Santa. Nothing in sight. Can't see anything. Better look around. Don't push me. Leave me alone. No, don't do that. Oh, 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 Hurry! You barely have time now. I still have one more friend to visit. I mustn't fail her. But... No buts about it. First come the children. I'll see you later, if possible. What happened? Did you find anyone? We've looked all over the place and there's no one to be found. Let's make sure the fire's out. There's some smoke over there. Well, that serves him right, the old troublemaker. He'll probably catch pneumonia, but he asked for it. Wait! The flower to disappear has fallen right into Lupita's house. Did you find work? Nothing, my dear. Nothing. Now go back to sleep. It is very late. Just go ahead and think of all those wonderful things. Then was I just dreaming, Mama? Dreaming that he left me a dolly outside in the patio? Maybe next Christmas. Not this one. But he said he was a beautiful dolly. Dolly? 
what, Mama? He left star that shining out there is a palace of crystal and candy. The home of Santa Claus. He's just arriving with his sleigh and white reindeer. Thank you, Santa Claus. Goodbye, Santa Claus. Thank you for a wonderful and merry Christmas. And so once again, Santa returns to his palace from his yearly Christmas rounds. He is happy, gay, for once again he has brought joy to the children of the world. Blessed are they who believe, for they shall see God. Peace on earth, goodwill toward men. Merry Christmas. Thank you.